Okay, the filter. Seems like there's a lot of parts to it. Take it a step at a time, you'll be okay. Now, you can't put things in the canister incorrectly, which is kind of nice. There, there's this place for four foam pads. Only goes in one way. And then I have a Fluval 305, so I have three of these. You might have four. Three is okay, four is okay. I'm going to show you what to fill those up with in just a second. But you want to fill these blocks up just like so. So you have two on one side and two on the other. This is a great place for bacteria to hang out. All right, so these ones I kept from last year. I usually buy two new ones, keep two, throw away two, the, the gross ones. So I'm going to be throwing these away at the end of this year. You can tell they're a little bit different color. Uh, when they come a little bit too long, you might need to cut them depending on your filter, but they just kind of snap in like this. Again, you can't really do it all that wrong. And once it's in there, it's rounded on one side and square on another. Find your canister, slide it in, and that part is done. Next, we're going to fill up the trays. On the very bottom tray inside your filter, you're going to add white diamond ammo chips. Now, these have to go into a bag. Uh, if you were lucky enough to be able to find these filter bags, these are 3x8. Good. I couldn't, so I found these ones, media bags, they are 6x12. So I'm going to fill this up and actually cut it with a Ziploc bag, or do the zip first, cut it in half, and I'll have two bags that I can use. All right, I just filled this up with the white diamond stuff, and you can see they're uh, pretty dusty. So I filled this up. Oh, maybe about halfway, and of course this will not fit into the trays at all. So I'm going to zip tie this in half and get two of these out of one bag and put them in here. But the most important thing is you must get that rid of that dust. So I'm going to zip tie it in half, cut them, and then rinse them. And I'll show you in the sink. All right, separated these out in halves. Now. Nice and tight on one, and you got to do it twice. You're going to make two different bags. Nice and tight on another side. How's that look? Pretty wonderful. The fish will never see it. And then, rinse. And it's going to be a while before you get your fish, so it's okay just to use tap water. There is chlorine in it. It'll be gone in 48 hours. All right, cut the zip ties, rinse them really nice, cut them in half. We'll get somebody else strong to do it for you. And then you want to get them all the way in. If you add a little bit too much, I kind of dry fitted them before I cut them. that give them another once over and there's your bottom tray goes in the tank and that's the first one next up the filter uh, on top of the ammo chips is your chemi pure five ounces is wonderful ten ounces is cheaper now when you open this stuff up it is already a little wet inside so you kind of want to work it out it's a little gross you just need to wash your hands when you're done it is wet, but the same thing, kind of find the center, put two zip ties, cut it in half, rinse it, and put it in. And I'll show you that in just a second. All right, well, we tried to cut our Kemi Pure in half. It went all over the place. It is charcoal, activated charcoal. So here's an idea. This 10-ounce bag will fit on one side. So if you buy another, 10 ounces and 10 ounces, wonderful. If you don't, instead of cutting it, Watch this. Kind of lay it out, right? Figure out where halfway is. Half on that side, half on that side. Never cut it, then I got charcoal on both sides. Hey, I don't know. I don't think the trout will ever care. If you have 10 ounces and 10 ounces, great. I have five and five ounces. Why not? All right, rinse in the Chemipure, the charcoal. Rinse it really well. Add it to the filter, 
and we are ready for the top step. Last but not least, the Biomax. They look like little white Cheerios. Absolutely the most important for bacteria to colonize. Absolutely the easiest to put in. Open up the bag, spread them out. Oops, on the top tray. Good, good, good. How about that? Does that look good? Sure. Rinse them. And these you never want to rinse with hot water. If you do ever open your filter, which you probably won't, because that will kill all the bacteria. And that goes right on top. You need your lid for the bins. And your filter is done. Now, probably the most critical part, filling it up with water and putting on the lid. All right, when you open up your filter, you have an impeller. It's magnetic. These plastic things can break off. It's not really that hard to change. If they do break, it is kind of expensive. And you have this lid that you want to add. If you notice, the hole's offset and the impeller is offset. So you want to make sure that goes on. And it will click when it seats on the left and the right. Okay. Now, I this is an old filter for me, so I got a replacement O-ring. If you are using your O-ring, and it lasted me for four years, if you're using an O-ring brand new, this is not so vital. Um, why not do it though? I put Vaseline on the O-ring every time I put it away. This is already Vaseline-y, so I don't need to do it this time, but just a little bit of Vaseline all the way around it. It'll last more than four years. I was just a little rough with mine. The O-ring goes on just like that in the hole. And then it is time to snap the lid in place. Absolutely the most critical thing. You must, if I can get this to fit, yeah. You must fill this thing up completely. If you don't, it's going to take forever to prime. All right, we're done filling it up. Uh, water's a little cloudy. That'll go away, no problem. If you look here, there's a little notch in the housing. That's where you put the cord for your filter. So there's only one way you can put it. And if you do this correctly, so that you can prime it very easy, easily later, you should have water coming out all over the place. And that's good. That way when we, st when we turn this on, it won't take long at all to prime. And your filter is, whoop, how about this? Here's the flow, here's the lock. Put this on, lock it down, your filter's complete.